Hello, and welcome to Bad at Board Games. My name is Brad Lake, and I'm Bad at Board Games, so you don't have to be. Today, we're going to be going over Game Founds, Crowdfunding, Steam Power by Martin Wallace. Not Steam, Rails to Riches, Steam Power. Although it's kind of like this, but easier, maybe? Let's take a look. Jumping right in. Um, we have $109,000 raised. It's been about five days, I guess. Came out on Tuesday. This is Saturday, however many days that is. And we have 1,017 backers. Now, it's not like all oh, the hottest thing in the world, but um, but I like Martin Wallace games. I like Brass is, you know, number one of all time. And I like this game, I have not done a review on it, but I plan on doing a rapid review here in the near future. So a little bias to this. Um, I think it's basically what I've seen and how it plays. It's a quicker version of Steam Rails to Riches, um, you know, in a pick up and deliver kind of way. So it's been pretty cool. I watched a playthrough on John Gitt's games. That's the one I would recommend watching it kind of like it's a teach to play um and i but i enjoy how he goes through and and does that teach um so check that out if you're interested want to learn a little bit more about how it plays it doesn't seem overly difficult like some pick up and deliver games can be so that might be an entry level pick up and deliver um mechanism for you and your group if you're interested so steam power the new train game from martin wallace and the deluxe edition kind of has like these dominoes. And I don't know if this will be like a domino resin material or if it's going to be more like a balsa wood. Raw had some really nice chunky tiles, but they were all wood. They were very light and painted, you know, seemed like they had a thick coat of paint on them. Um, and then they silk screened over that. So that's maybe what these are. Um, kind of see as we go. One to five players. Most Euro games, as we know, we don't want to play at the max count. I have played Steam Rails to Riches at four and enjoyed it, and it didn't take forever. This is saying 60 minutes, and based on the rule changes they've made versus the what I, I call the original one, um, it probably is going to be like a, a shorter game, which, which can be nice. It'll make it a little bit easier to table. But for those train pick up and deliver people that want like super chunky, that's not this. Um, <coughs> so, you know, it is simple rules um, and it's going to have a lot of, you know, how can you move things around and how can you connect things and pay other people and players. And um, but like, I, I can't get into a teach about it. Um, I'll just keep referring to John gets games. And so you've got these tiles. They'll either be um, something upgraded for if you get the deluxe or there'll be cardboard chits for your trains or the tracks, I should say. And then um, you've got your trains, your factories, money. Um, and it's, it's really not that different. Um, he's just seems like he's tweaked the rules and made it a little bit easier. <clears throat> um, there isn't a whole lot on here. Here's John Gets Games, um, Play While Learning. And, you know, depending on um, who you like to watch, you can kind of get their, their vibe on it. Um, it comes with three maps for the deluxe version. And they're saying this is silk hand inked. Um, so I'm kind of wondering if it's a, if it's, that means it's more of a, a fabric map or not. It didn't, a pure fabric in the playthrough, but maybe they just had it um, laid out really nice. Um, I guess I, I kind of worry about that if it is a fabric, you know, Mancala's fabric, and I don't mind playing cards on it, but I worry that all these little chits and pieces, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that if it's a fabric versus a cardboard um, map. So, so they're saying the resources with the Deluxe or PVC, the trains will be PVC, um, and the contract tiles, they're not telling us what that's made out of. So that's kind of why, like these, I don't know if they're going to be wood, a type of wood, or if they're going to be plastic. It's not saying they're cardboard. 
um, in the deluxe version. <clears throat> and we got some city tiles that'll be on the on the map for player token. Not a big deal. And then the cotton bags look nicer. I know some some bags you get like Osworn or some of these other ones are like real cheap. They're not. I don't know what they are. They're a polyester kind of really thin material that things get caught on. <laughs> um, but I prefer the, I do like upgraded bags when I get, get games. Um, and then versus that. So the standard box, you're going to get, um, two maps instead of three. And then the tiles, the, the trains and the buildings are just going to be like wooden, um, our normal wooden pieces and then the wooden cubes for the resources. Um, which is fine. And honestly, once we get to the price, this is a good option, I think, for the price. Um, our contracts, they're going to be cards instead of dominoes. Um, and then we've got cardboard chits for the the curves. They, they're not even... Yeah, they are saying cardboard here. So the other ones must be wood or something because they're not calling it out. Um, so all these things would be cardboard... So it's, there's there's not a lot of differentiation, but you know it, it kind of just depends on what you're looking at. So when you look at the price, you're going to spend a hundred dollars to get upgraded components, um, and how important is that to you? It's not going to change the gameplay anymore. It's going to look a little nicer on the table, but it's not going to be like oh, you know, people stopping by and being like blown away by how good this is going to look on the table with the upgraded components versus forty bucks. So, you know, I, I like steam. I like, I like this game. This is all cardboard. This is wood. Um, let's see what the, you know, you have wood tokens and you have cardboard track. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, you know, it's, it's your basic older, older game. Um, so I don't know. I like this game enough. I like deluxe components. You know, I'm interested in the $99 one, but I'm just not sure I'm going to pull the trigger on that. I am going to back this, um, but I'm just, I'm not sure if I'm going to back it for $40 or if I'm going to go ahead and spend an extra $60, which is a lot more money to get the same gameplay experience. Um, but I like this. I like the, the extra stuff. <laughs> um, if you and your friends want to get the you know, more, or if you're retail, you've got the $216 where you can get more than one, um, and the senior station manager, which is the deluxe. Yeah. So six, let's see if I, I doubt that's any cheaper. That's the one thing that game found or all of these make me laugh. 216 divided by six, $36. Oh, it is a little bit cheaper. So they're giving you a $4 savings. If you can get a group of people to buy five, <laughs> um, so not, not the greatest in the world. Um, they've got maps, add-on stuff. What is this? Steam-powered contract tile holder. Um, if you want to pay $15 for a piece of plastic, that seems excessive. We have cat power for the cat lovers, another $15. Um, so you got a couple of ways to spend $30 more on this. <laughs> and let's see... Where are we at? Oh, it's on Tabletop Simulator if you want to try it. But um, if you watch the gameplay of it, you'll get an, get an idea as well. You don't have to actually play the game. Um, but it's nice that you'd be able to play it. And solo mode. Mode is beat your own puzzle currently, play testing. However, if you're interested to play, you can try it. So they are trying a solo mode. It is not flushed out. It's just going to be like a solitaire beat your high score kind of thing. They've got a lot of community links and shipping. So to the U.S., they're saying $15. Um, it's not great. It's not bad. If you wait till retail, you're not going to pay $15. You'll probably be able to bundle it from Miniature Market or um, Game Nerds and you know get this free shipping. So that's Take that into consideration. I mean, $15 on a $40 game, that's a lot. I mean, that's a that's a steep price. That's like 30%, um, 33% uh, of shipping costs, which is great. 
Now on the deluxe version, it's cheaper. It's fifteen percent, but you know you're, and then it may be twenty dollars a ship. It could be twenty five dollars a ship. So hard to say. Um, so we shall see what happens when they come through. I am, I am going to back this. I am, like I said, I just not sure if I'm going to back at a hundred and hundred dollars. I guess one hundred and fifteen to one hundred twenty, depending on how shipping goes or if I'm going to back at the $40 range. Um, I like, I am biased towards Martin Wallace. I am biased towards train games. I like those for whatever reason. I have no idea. Maybe it's because my grandfather loved trains and when I was a little kid. But um, something about it I do enjoy. And, you know, I'm just not sure I'm going to spend the $100 for that experience because I don't think the, uh, you know, I may like this, but I may like, the regular steam that takes a little bit longer and has a little bit more meat to it more than this game, but I, you know, it'd be easier to table. So kind of hard to, kind of hard to choose sometimes anyway. So I hope this was helpful. Um, my value rating for this, I would say the value rating for the $40 one, I would say it's a four and a half out of five. Like I think $40 for the game that you're probably, you're going to get out of this because I'm looking at the original and you know, this is just a you know, quicker experience. Let's put it that way. Um, I think you're going to get a four and a half out of five value rating for $40. Um, the value rating would drop to an average, you know, three out of five for, you know, a hundred and dollars plus shipping. You know, it's nice. It's going to be cool, but it's not going to really make your, in this case, it's not really going to make your experience that much better. I don't think you're not getting a whole bunch of add-ons. Um, the components are nice, but, uh, I don't know if they're that nice. So only do the add-ons if you can afford it and not put it on a credit card, right? So just remember, let me know what you think. Is this interested you? I mean, it's, you know, it's only a thousand backers. You know, this isn't CMON's, you know, a million dollar backing kind of thing. But uh, I am interested in what you think. Do you like train games? Have you played pick up and deliver games? You know, what do you, what are your thoughts on the whole genre and Martin Wallace's games in general? So comment down below. Let me know. And just remember, no matter how you play, whether it's solo, with family, or friends, enjoy whatever you are bringing to the table. Have a great night.